Hey everyone, welcome to the surface modeling practice. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this super smooth, interesting part here. Because I did a while ago a tutorial how you can create this shape. So I just came up with a little bit of a variation. So let's have a look. So first of all, let's start with the base. And we will just create a nice circle. And now we will create this kind of cylindrical shape in the middle. So create a new circle and do something like that and bring the circle here somewhere here and then press Alt X and Y to bring it to the other side. And that looks great because now Shift A, a new line and we can snap here to three fourth and very important, it has to be written 10, 10. So it's tangent to tangent and the same on the other side. So you could basically even snap somewhere here and you see you can still snap at 10, 10. Perfect, so press T to trim those curves away. And also, oh, we have to create one new line because as always in surface modeling, we just want to work with one half. So create a new line here along the middle and now press T and just trim one half of everything away. Perfect, so that looks great. And we are almost done, so select that and press J. Uh, to join those curves and bring this curve here a little bit to the top and yeah, as you wish. And now what we want to do is we want to create here a nice curve, then here a nice curve and also here a nice curve, right? So we get our beautiful, interesting, smooth shape. And for that is we want a nice tangent value to have those curves, as always with surface modeling, right? So for that, as always in all of my tutorials, we have to first extrude this curve here. So just press E and this curve. And for now we will hide those curves because now we have extra edges. Why we are doing this? It's because if we have edges, we can search for F and bridge edge. So we can connect them in a smooth way. So I have it on shift B. By the way, if you want to learn how to model really fast, for that you need very good optimized shortcuts. So below this video, you can download the PDF with all of my custom shortcuts and a surface modeling PDF where you will learn all of the basics and fundamentals. Because right now is if I just select those two edges, edges and I press shift B, bridge edges, bam, it's instantly there without searching and all that kind of stuff. So it's super fast. And let's just make this curve G1 continuity here. So you see it's super smooth. And the same here, select those edges. And if you press Shift B or Bridge Edge, so if you don't want to use my uh, shortcuts, search for F and here you have it Bridge Edge. Shift B, bam, G1 is enough here. Okay. And as I said, we also need one in the middle. So for that, we have to select the surface here with three and press Control R. Again, this is a custom shortcut, but which is so important. But this is here, delete redundant topology, control D. Select that because, sorry, so I mean it's control R, so press tab. So control R, isoparam command, and the same here, control R and just here snap in the middle. Because now again, we have two extra edges and if we press again, shift B, bam, we have a beautiful curve, but give it G1, this will be fine. And yeah, I think this, this rounding looks really aesthetical. So perfect. So now we've created all of those cages and we can start here to, to loft and have some fun. But before we do that, again, we have to use those curves here and extrude them a little bit to the inside because we need tangency here at the point where we'll, we will mirror it over. Otherwise we will get like a very unbeautiful edge in the surface. So we always need tangency and curvature. And if you want to learn more about that, what I'm telling you here, check out first link in my description. I have perfect surface modeling courses where we will all the fundamentals and techniques and workflows, how to use those surface modeling techniques and basically any project that you want to model with exercises, with high quality content and all that kind of stuff. But let's continue here. So we have our sheets and we can hide our curves. 
because now we can start finally to loft. So you can loft from top to bottom or from left to right. But here in this example, I will just start with this curve at the top and shift this curve or edge at the bottom and press L to loft. And now we can just add it with shift click those edges here and this curve to squeeze our surface into this shape here that we just created. And also here at the very end, bam. So you see G1. So you see you have everywhere G1. So you have everywhere continuity. And this is exactly what we want. So press OK. And we don't need this curve here anymore. And now we can just delete again all of those extra surfaces with three face mode and shift and shift X. And oops, yeah, we have those extra curves here. We can just delete them. And now if you select an object mode, our sheet here, we can Alt X for mirror and bring it over. And if you press J and sh Shift E or right click and here show edges, you see we don't have any edges and everything looks super smooth. And our last step is to give it, yeah, a thickness. Very simple. We can just select two edge mode and Alt click this loop edge here at the top and shift three, so patch hold. So you search here for uh, just patch. And so for me, it's shift three. Again, below this video, PDF shortcuts. Okay, and the same at the bottom. Press two, alt click and shift three or patch. And you have something like that. And now when you have like a closed body and you have two flat surfaces, then it almost always works if the geometry is not too crazy. So select both of those faces and here you have a command, hollow is solid, click on that. And then you see you can either go inwards or outwards, but I would recommend to go inwards so you're not destroying the shape. So you're not destroying the shape and we get something like that. And as always, select those corners here and give it a nice little fillet. If you like surface modeling and again, you want to learn everything about surface modeling and also in a more real world example, I just also launched one of my surface modeling courses, the all in one plasticity course, where you will learn how to create this motorcycle here completely from scratch, step by step, everything explained in detail. And this is your final 3D model that you will be able to create in the course. And along that you will get a huge amount of bonus courses, which will teach you how to learn fast all basics about surface modeling and eight bonus lessons with hands-on exercises, how to use shortcuts and radial menus. So what I taught you here in this tutorial, but much more in depth, how to customize it and just how to approach mentally every project. So super helpful. First link in the description if you wish. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe for this tutorial so you don't miss any other of my tutorials. And I wish you a nice day. Bye.